Everyone is accounted for following a ferocious fire on board a fishing boat at Coffs Harbour on the New South Wales far north coast. For more, we're joined by Nine reporter Laura Tunstall. And Laura, how did the fire start? Well, Georgie, police are investigating arson as a possible cause of this blaze, which occurred in the Coffs Harbour Marina last night. Firefighters were called shortly after midnight when a large recreational fishing boat was a blaze. Now witnesses say they heard an explosion before the fire. Now it took around 20 firefighters around two hours to extinguish the blaze. Fortunately nobody was injured but there was an incident involving one of the crew members and firefighters at the scene. Police attended the location and assisted fire brigade with an with a intoxicated male who was uh, arguing and wrestling with the fire brigade. Uh, police restrained that male and uh, whilst the fire brigade attempted to put the vessel out. Now there were some quite dramatic scenes in the marina after this boat caught on fire because the motor of the boat actually self-started which saw the boat travel at high speeds around the marina and bump into other, vi other vessels which were moored inside. Now four yachts suffered damage and of course witnesses watching on said it was qu quite dramatic scenes there. Worried that all the other boats were going to catch a light. Um... But when it, when it moved and it just went full throttle, that was the scariest part. You just didn't know what was going to happen then, so... The windows blew out and then the ropes must have, must have given out because they'd been burning for a while. And uh, somehow the engine had shorted out and started. And uh, she took off over this way, crashed into some boats. It sunk, uh, sunk one of the guy's boats. So fortunately, as I said, nobody was injured, which is a good thing, but certainly a very large repair bill for those whose boats were damaged in the marina overnight. Yeah, it certainly looks like it, Laura. Thank you for that.